Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is ninth video for Employee Management System in Laravel. And in this video, we will mainly perform the upload functionality, image upload functionality. Okay. So what we are going to do in this video, first of all, as we have seen in the last video that we have created the employee resource controllers, models, and all the things. In this video, we will create a form in which we will store the employee data with uploading feature and then we will save the form data in the database okay so we will do these things in this video we will mainly perform these two things in this video so let's start to do this so i will go to the resources i will go to the views and i will open the employee and i will open the create form okay and here what we need to do first the first thing we will change the things because we have copied this from the uh, department so I will change the things. So this will be employee. And this will be also employee. And here we need to define the ank type. Okay. So this will be multi part. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. I have uh, some little bit flu. Sorry for this. Okay. So we have defined the end time multi-part form data. Now we need to define the uh, things like a full name. Full name we will define text. Full name then we will define the address. Okay and then we will define the mobile number. Okay and here we will define the name full name. And the address and the mobile and let's say we will also define uh, what we have another things let's go to the employee record system and here we have employees table and we have full name photo address mobile we have a photo so what we will do uh, we, i will cut this and paste it after the full name so here I will define the photo okay and this will be the file and the name will be photo okay fine now what I will now what the other things to do I will define the radio button for a status so let's say status okay and I will define the radio button and the name will be status and the value will be this will value will be one okay and the status will be activate and another status will be deactivate deactivate and the value will be zero okay now let's go to the employee and go to the app and go to the http controllers employee record system and here what i will do i will open the department controller this is the first way that if we have created something then we need to copy that i will copy this i will paste it here and uh, yeah we are fine now okay so in the employee let's refresh the page and here we need to uh, i hope i know i have not changed the link so i will go to the index and this will be employee refresh the page and click on this so we have i have redirected on the actually in the employee master we have we need to change this employee create actually refresh the page click on this we have a things and but it is actually we need to remove this class because this make it's weird activate and deactivate let's divide this in a second row okay and one thing more we can do one thing more activate will be go after the radio button okay so here we have okay fine and uh, checked this will be true default Okay, if we click on this, then we can check this and save this. Okay, so we have created the form and now we need to submit this data. So I'll go to the department controller and I'll copy this thing. 
okay and we'll go to the store and let me let me show you that uh, we have changed the things okay we have changed the form url just want to clarify that okay so we need to full name full name and uh, we have address we have mobile we have photo so uh, uh, let's say photo address every field is required okay and in this just we need required image and the types are and the types are jpg png jpg png and gif okay fine now we need to create the employee and here we'll, we will change the things and we also need one thing more status okay fine so full name photo address mobile and one thing more we need status status mobile address and for the photo we need to do something different so what we will do dollar photo equal to dollar request file and the field name so field name is photo okay now we will rename the photo because if user upload the same name then it will conflict okay so what we will do here photo get client get client original this is laravel method original sorry original extension okay so we have uh, this name and uh, what we will do we will add the timestamp here okay so this will i will add the timestamp now we need to define the destination so what is the destination we will define public path and we need we will create the we will create a folder in the public folder uh, here let's create the images okay and go to this and refresh this not refresh images just images fine okay now we are ready to uh, move the move the things so what we will do here we will do the things photo move from destination path uh, in the destination path and this is the photo okay we can all the they have very beautifully explain this thing if you go to the laravel.com and if you go to the upload okay so and uh, if you go to this file upload then here you can see that we have a different kind of method but uh, we are not following this method we are actually uploading the things things according to the here you can see the original this is original name we are getting the extension okay get client original extension and we are renaming that and then we are moving this so i'll say the syntax i will open my project and i will go to the some project and i will open this ctp controller and here i just want to show that I'll, yes this is the thing so move destination path and image name okay fine and the name is we will save in the database is this okay and after that we will redirect to the after that we will redirect to the employee create and show the message i think we are already showing them yes we are already showing so let's create the employee so full name is let's say john doi and image is desktop and let's say image image is this and address is something mobile number is something 
and save this data. So it is saying that department ID actually we need to select the department. Okay, so what we are going to do, we will copy this and paste it here and we need to fetch the department. Actually, we need to fetch the department in the crate. So I will go to here, I will go to, I will copy this thing here and just pass this departments. Okay, and this data and in the department in the crate view here we will select and the first option will be empty empty value and let's say select department okay and the name will be depart and the class will be form control and here we will show the data for each as depart and for each and here we will define the option and in the value in the value we have dollar depart id and in the title in the name we have right okay so let's refresh the page let's go to the add new and it is saying that department not found because we have not loaded this model why we are doing these mistakes no problem so select department department one and something is uh, John Doe and photo is this and address is something mobile number is something some the data and we have again the date the department ID actually yeah I know that you have noticed the thing that we need to save this save this here also okay fine no problem uh, here the name and here the things now this will not create mistake here this will not create refresh this page I'm doing the live coding actually okay whatever I have created in this channel I have uh, totally I have created the coding uh, live okay so so that it is showing uh, showing the error somewhere and here we have also changed this thing so data has been submitted finally we have submitted the data after the three four errors no problem okay so view all go to the view all and we have data with the department name okay so okay fine now we have a credit uh, i have implemented all the things for this video now in the next video we will implement update and delete functionality okay so thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe like this channel and share this video thank you thank you so much